Hi, this is Mark Wade at Center City Condos, Prudential Fox and Roach Realtors. In this short podcast, I'd like to ask, where's the drama? Okay, here's the scoop. This is a situation I encountered recently. Uh, buyer comes in, buyer sees a property, they like the property, they sing and dance in the street, they make an offer, they go back and forth with the seller, everything's lovely, everything's wonderful, uh, everything's fine, there's no fighting, uh, everybody agrees to the prices. Shockingly, the, the one of the sellers is a lawyer, one of the buyers is a lawyer, and there's no fighting, there's no drama, there's no... You know, you're trying to get the best of me, and what about line 14C of paragraph 12A2, blah, blah, blah. No fighting. It, it was it was just a, a straightforward agreement where everybody kind of agreed that the seller was being reasonable, and the buyer was being reasonable, and the agents were being reasonable, and everybody's reasonable. And there's just no drama and no fighting. So, you know, do you need to fight to win? Uh, the, you know, that's a good question. I mean, a lot of times, you know, when you when we're dealing with properties and we're, we're always dealing with high drama, and uh, you know, because there's big money, there's big money being spent here, and I understand that. But sometimes, believe it or not, there doesn't have to be drama in a real estate agreement, uh, in a deal, in order for both parties to feel that they won. Now, of course. The seller always wants more, and the buyer always wants to pay less. But you know, when you have two parties whose m- goal is to complete the deal, and everybody's reasonable, there doesn't need to be drama. You know, there doesn't need to be this. Oh my God, the seller's trying to do this to me, and they're trying to stab me in the back and take all my money and throw me out in the street and all that kind of bullshit. You know, I mean, <laughs> again, sometimes I get it, and sometimes drama is warranted. Sometimes. Somebody in the agreement of sale, somebody in the transactions being a huge butthead, believe me, live in my shoes for a week, and you'll see that quite clear, and it happens all the time, but I guess the buyer came, you know, the the reason why this podcast, why I'm talking about this is because the buyer came back to me and said, hey, where's the drama? Where's the fight? I thought we were going to have to, you know, I've always heard that real estate transactions are filled with fighting and arguments and you know this and that not always sometimes everybody's very you know reasonable and that doesn't have that that doesn't the need for the drama doesn't arise and it turns out to be a very smooth transaction those are the ones i like of course uh but anyway so do you need to fight do you need to get the hairs on the back of your neck sticking straight up and your horns twisted and all that not always uh you know a, a good 50 Honestly, you know, if I had to uh, throw a dart at a dartboard and tell you what the percentage was, I would suggest probably about 50% of the time there is no drama. I mean, it's a straightforward deal. The agreement of sale in the state of Pennsylvania is exceedingly uh, well written and it leaves nothing to the imagination, you know, whether or not the refrigerator stays or the curtains stay or how the property is to be left after the seller moves out and the buyer does the pre settlement walkthrough. It's, you know, at least nothing to the imagination. So a lot of times you don't need drama to necessarily feel that you won in an agreement of sale. So, so that's it. So the point of this uh, uh, podcast is you don't always need to fight. Because some people in uh, the, the opposing party or the other side of the transaction, you know, maybe they don't feel a need. Maybe they, you know, they're happy with your offer and, you know, of course they probably wanted more. But, you know, you don't need to fight to win. And know that in the transaction, it, it's set up so that a buyer has what we call outs. You know, if the buyer doesn't like the results of the home inspection, they can bag the deal. You know, they don't need to get crazy and and what about this and what about that and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, You don't need to necessarily fight to win. Some people just win uh, by the fact that they found the home of their dreams and they like it a lot. And there, you know, there is a hint of forgiveness, of course, during any home inspection because a lot of the inventory in Philadelphia is existing. You know, you go to buy a a 180-year-old house. If you're looking for perfection, then you kind of need to, you know, get past that because there's really no such thing as perfection. And even a new construction, you know, houses can always be improved. But you get a reasonable buyer and a reasonable seller, and there is no drama. And you know what, boys and girls, that's okay. So anyway, this is Mark Wade from Prudential Fox and Roach Realtors, CenterCityCondos.com, saying you don't always need to fight in order to feel that you won.
and uh, it, a lot of transactions turn out that there is no drama, there is no fighting, there is no, you know, uh, eating your liver, eating your guts, whatever they call it, you know. So anyway, Mark Wade, Prudential Fox and Roach, thank you very much. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know how to get a hold of me, 215-521-1523.